that it moves slowly southwards, but it's cleared ourselves and there's hardly a cloud on the satellite picture for a good part of England and Wales. There's a bit more cloud across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland, but even so, it's essentially a fine, dry story. Just a few showers coming and going up in the northeast of Scotland here, quite chilly as well, with a brisk northwest wind. But for the cricket at the Oval, it looks like it's going to remain fine and dry. 23, I think, will be the top temperature. Do take care of being out and about in that sunshine. It is strong, a sun index of 5. And generally, the temperatures throughout the United Kingdom much more comfortable than we've seen recently. And the reason for that is much lower humidity, 21 to 23 in the south, 19 in Northern Ireland, and between 16 and 19 degrees over a good part of Scotland. So high pressure, firmly in charge overnight tonight, and the air could get quite cold overnight tonight, a bit misty in places, but we could uh, see those temperatures down as low as between 5 and 9 degrees in some inland areas, somewhat warmer around the coast, but considerably cooler than we've seen recently. A bit misty to start with, otherwise more fine weather as we move into Tuesday. That weather front could bring a little bit of patchy rain in from the northwest and freshen that southwesterly breeze, and eventually that weather front is going to slowly creep its way southwards over the forthcoming three or four days. But I think it's going to be a slow process, eventually bringing its rain across us as we move into Thursday, and the frontal system clearing the south coast, introducing cooler air as we move to the end of the week. Bye for now.